डिलीट द डिफॉल्ट क्यूब एंड द लाइट एर अ टोरस इन टू द व्यू पोर्ट एर अ सिंपल रिफॉर्म मॉरीफायर एंड इंक्रीज इट्स एंगल वैल्यू टू थ्री हंड्रेड सिक्सटी डिग्री डुप्लीकेट द मॉरीफायर एंड सेलेक्ट जी एक्सिस एर अ सब डिविजन सर्फिस मॉडिफायर एंड इंक्रीज इट्स स्टैंडर्ड वैल्यू टू फोर अप्लाई शेड स्मूथ प्रेस कंट्रोल अल्ट प्लस जीरो टू अलाइन द कैमरा चेंज द रेजोल्यूशन टू टेन एटी बाई टेन एटी पिक्सल्स एडजस्ट द फोकल लेंथ ऑफ द कैमरा एंड आफ्टर डैट प्ले विथ इट्स वाई एक्सिस वैल्यू टू गेट अ डिजायर लुक फॉर द सीन सेलेक्ट द टूरस एंड इन द टाइम लाइन Enter the in value to 240. After that, enter the same value for the first and the 241st frame as shown in the video. Then play the animation. add an empty to the viewport and then duplicate it now select the torus then go to modifiers and select each empty for the respective simple deform modifier select the empty and enter the exact rotation values for the first and 241st frame as shown in the video Similarly select the other empty and enter the exact values for the first and 241st frame as shown in the video Now play the animation As you can see we have some nice looking abstract style motion graphics You can also change the axis of this simple deform modifier to give this animation your kind of look. Add an area light to the viewport. You scale it by four and move it upwards in the axis. increase its strength to 1000 watts change the render engine from ev to cycles select cpu or gpu enter viewport and render max samples to 128 in color management set look to very high contrast and view transform to standard reduce color to all the way dark in world properties and head over to render mode change the shape of the light from square to disk also increase its size to 3 meters duplicate the area light rotate it and point it from the other side increase its power to 1500 watts again duplicate and rotate the area light and point it from the opposite side and after that decrease its power to 750 watts select both the area lights and increase their scale value to 8 for the shading part head over to shader editor then select the torus and press new and in the principal bsdf shader increase its specular value to 1 reduce roughness to 0 and increase transmission to 1 add a color ramp node and join it to base color add a gradient texture node and join it to color ramp add multiple color stops to the color ramp 
and switch from linear to ease. Add multiple colors to the color stops to give some kind of gradient feel to the torus. Select the area lights and make a few changes to their size or power values if necessary. Otherwise, no need to do so. Increase the exposure value a little bit to give a brighter look to your scene. For the background, add a plain mesh to the viewport and uh, give it a gradient texture of black and grey. Then add a circle mesh to the viewport. Go to edit mode, press F to fill. After that, add a solidify modifier and then again use the same black and grey kind of gradient texture for it. Duplicate the circle and move it to the other side of the scene. Press Ctrl plus B and drag to select the render region and that's all for today's video thank you so much to everyone for watching the video hope to see you all in the next video till then stay tuned and keep learning